Bill and Kyla Whitworth are focusing on making Valentine's gifts after a busy Christmas season. Our official orders are here. We're very professional with our sticky notes. And they started running wild design this spring after Will started working from home. What we love is when people um, have an idea or see an idea somewhere else and they contact us and ask, can this be done locally? Kyla was already making jewelry as a hobby after homeschooling their six children, but with Will at home, both decided to expand the business. And so instead of coming home from work and then kind of having to decompress and catch up and just have those conversations, they're, they're happening throughout the day. That work forced them from the kitchen counter to reworking the laundry room. And then it became our laundry room and Will's home office. And then we just put running wild designs in here as well. Business is also going well for Garrett Day, who runs day-to-day -day design. He now has work spread across the living room and kitchen. I feel like I've gotten a lot more attention lately, um, specifically with the cornhole boards. And uh, now, uh, this year, weddings are kind of more so my thing. It was medical reasons that forced him from work to home. Now, the painting he used to do on the side is a way to supplement his income. It, it's starting to really take off more so and I'm starting to see like how this this can be like an actual business. He's even found a niche. Something with the pandemic. Um, I think that cornhole boards, they, they're just like the perfect social distancing game and like they've just been kind of uh, a big thing lately. Will and Kyle are expanding the business a little bit but they still want to focus on work and the kids. I'm not looking to, to uh, look permanently work for myself. Garrett has some different plans, though. I'll think in the middle of the night, like, oh, there's, there's another way that I could expand. There's somebody else I could reach out to or something else I could do eventually. Michael Cantu, KCBD News Channel 11.